Hello great YouTubers. In this section, we will have a look at the menu and the options we have in the Intouch Scaler software. Let's get started. Okay, so if you've not subscribed, I will urge you to do so and also press on the notification button so that you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we have the Interscada software right here. So the first thing that we'll look at is the file menu. And then on the file, you can create your new windows. You can open windows. You can save, close, delete, and do a lot of things. Do export of windows and import as well. Okay, in the edit section, you can do undo, erase, you can duplicate, cut and also copy, paste and then erase. So you have a lot of uh, menu structure here and another important menu structure is the symbol factory where you find a lot of your symbols that you use for your design. And then from there we move to the view menu and the view you can get uh, general toolbar, you can do formatting of the toolbars, you can do rules, class, projects, view, etc. Okay, then we we'll move on to the arrange view. So you can send some objects to back. You can also send some to the front side and then you do alignment and then other stuff. A lot of things are inactive here because they are not present in the project. But as time goes on, we'll have a look at all of them. We have the test and this is where exactly you do your test formatting. You have lines, you have uh, special, and especially you have security, you have the substitute tags, you have substitute strings and then other stuff. We have windows, under windows you can have a look at your window that you've already created. For now we've created only the main, main menu window. We have the help, and the help you can open the help file, which will take you to a lot of documents that you can go through to understand in depth of this particular software. Okay, so from there we have other tab here we have the wizard which will help us to place objects on the unit so when we come to let's say wizard we can have this interface and then we can place a lot of objects there we have no sections this is where you create your windows you can have multiple windows for now we have main menu we can right click go to new and then create a next window so this is going to be a sub window you can give it any name for now name it sub and then click on OK. So we can see that we have a, a new window created now. So we can have multiple of them. We have script. Very nice feature in the Interscada software. You can write your own code and then customize most of your animations and stuff. So you can do scripting in the Interscada software. This is the section for that. We have tools. Under the tools, we have configuration. We have the tag names. So Every tag that you create will be under your tag dictionary. So under the tag dictionary, you can access all of your tags. You have cross-referencing. If you are looking for other tags, immediately your project becomes very big. You have a lot of tags in there. And to locate tags, you can use cross-referencing to do that. We have template make, maker, sorry. And then we have the application as well. Okay. So if you want to add objects like lights, switches, and other stuff, you come to the wizard. And then under the wizard, we have multiple items here. We have alarm display. We have buttons. Uh, here we can choose any button that we want. So let's say, for instance, if I want the momentary button, I just click on it, click OK. And then you see the cursor changed. You can now position it and then click to get a button. If you want to place a light, you can come here, go to lights. And then under light, we have multiple lights. So if I want this, ram siren or this uh, light i can select it and click ok and then i can place it there also i can add gauges we have sliders that you can add and if you right click and you go to repeat last object it will repeat the last object that you added okay so that's great. So basically this is how you can add items. You can also add time, trend, and then add a star. So I can go to clock. And then let's say in my SCADA design, in my display, I want to display the real time. I can select this time format and then I click on OK. 
and then I can position it at a point where it will display the time whenever I click on the run time okay great so we move on okay on our right we have these tools we can see that generally the interface looks just like wet so it's not very difficult or familiarize yourself with the interface because it's just like word so we have this rectangle so you can draw a rectangle you can click on it and you see the cursor changes to plus sign you can drag and then you have your rectangle drawn you can draw a circle or an eclipse using this particular one you can draw a line okay you can add this to your project by clicking on the test double click and then you can type anything that you want you can also add trends you can add real-time trend you can add historical trend as well to your projects okay so basically there is a general overview of the in touch SCADA software and then you have the runtime button so after you've done your design and then you are done with everything you can click on the runtime and then you move into the runtime stage where you can visualize the actual work that you've done okay so i would like you to practice and go through this in our next tutorial we'll look at tag creation and then we can do simulation to see how tags and then objects work in this particular software okay thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye